Hi, welcome to another episode of Coffee and Whiskey with Ivy. This morning, I had to fight through the storm and the wind and the water to get to you. But for you, I'll do anything. And on the topic of water, which is top of the news, Singapore and Malaysia must comply fully with 1962 water treatment. Now, listen, we have rain coming out of our ears. Every piece of newspaper is saying how we have floods, etc, etc. So stop quarrelling about water and use your brains to see how we can catch more water. We do not need to desalinate water only to use it in our toilets, in our fire brigades, etc, etc, etc. I said all this years ago. Watch the good, the bad and ugly under the Gentle Warrior series. And on the topic of water, do you know how much you really pay for your water? You are paying $1.19 per cubic meter. Cubic meter. Water bond fee is added <coughs> at 78 cents per cubic meter. What is water bond fee? They assume that all the water you drink is carried away in the sewer line to be recycled. Conservancy tax is 35% on top of that. So it's $2.67. And on top of that, you pay GST again. And we have rain every day. So do we really have a water problem? Or do we have a brain problem? I'm sure you all have been haunted by this five-letter word called O-Bike, right? But I'd like to ask a few questions. How come we allow this O-Bike to be approved so quickly? Can you imagine if I wanted to introduce this O-Bike system? I'm sure the LTA, uh, the Ministry of Transport, will ask me 1,001 questions as to when the person takes the bike and when until the time he returns the bike. So why did our civil servants and scholars not see this thing happening? Right? I like to ask, who is the one who started O-Bike? And why was he given so much right to abuse our country? And now, you guys don't know how to handle it. Very simple. Charge them under our law for littering. And because it's such a mega littering issue, jail them, cane them. You know, if all these bikes were planted with a small bum, our entire country would have gone up like a volcano. So it's not just a littering problem. It is an act of terrorism that could have gone very, very wrong. Look, every day we are pulling something down. This is the Rocho Center, which is being pulled down. And I would like to ask, when all these buildings are pulled down, what do we do with the debris? Where do we dump the debris? In the ocean or out in the crunchy countryside? And then they will flatten this land, put grass on it, water the plant, and then they will tender the land, and then the next buyer will come and dig everything out again, all the grass, all the wasted time and effort. You know why we have a high cost of construction? Many years ago, our then Minister of National Development went to Australia to see how the white men built their houses. He was fascinated that Although the white man is paid a high salary, the cost of construction is cheap, minus the land cost. He didn't understand the word called productivity. We are totally unproductive. We excavate, put in the telephone line, close it again. Excavate, put in the power line, close it again. Excavate, put in the water line, close again. They should get all the government agencies, all the developers to sit down together and discuss how things should be done. Even the drains outside, it should all be coordinated and smooth so that it can become pedestrian friendly, bicycle friendly, etc. And as we all grow older, we don't fall into the drains, kick a curb and fall down. So let's look at how Western advanced countries, even Australia, do it so well. I'm so happy to see that 3M is using solar on their roof and more importantly, HDB is going to use 
a lot of solar on their rooftops. Perhaps HDB can extend the techniques to SMEs so that the small businesses can also tap on this wonderful resource. SMRT train reports 86 billion loss for year 2018. No big deal now. Just reduce the bonuses and the salaries of the 10% highly paid brain dead fellas there and cut the losses down. Let's give SMRT a chance. I believe they have a new group of people there and I hope they will make things work. But actually, what is SMRT for? It's for transportation and government should make sure transportation is cheap, efficient and even if it doesn't make money, it doesn't matter because you want, you want to go car light, you want to reduce pollution, you want to stop climate warming, do that. So $86 million loss, no big deal. This is really good news, you know. New South Wales may ban smartphones in school. I didn't realize that smartphones were used to bully, stalk and distract kids from class time. So when they ban this, I think it'd be great. They want to allow only what they call a dumb phone like mine, which can only do texting and phoning, but mine has a camera. They're suggesting that kids do not even have the ability to have a camera, a camera on their phone. But I think kids who are a little bit older should learn how to use a smartphone and not be a dinosaur like me because the smartphone is able to give them a lot of information to shortcut their knowledge. Google is a fantastic system to get news about things that you need to learn about. But what I would suggest is kids should only use a smartphone under supervision and they should also have access to the internet under supervision. So they do all this in the school where they are not allowed to use it for wicked things, to play games, etc. You know, it worries me when I look at kids who come to my farm and all they're doing is looking at this dumb thing. And even worse is their parents are at it too. So where is the conversation? Where is the adventure to look at what's happening around you and learning things firsthand? I suggest that they are allowed to use the smartphone, the computers, all this in school under supervision. And when they come home, they either rest or they go downstairs and run and jump and play football, catch fish, etc. The only problem is how to do it in the PAP landscape, the prim and proper landscape. So, instead of standing, spending 1.5 billion to reconstruct the jungle in Sembawang, and then to build this PAP looking garden, prim and proper plastic and progress garden, they should think of how to integrate housing in the current landscape so that kids can actually live in a forest as we used to when we were young. SD photojournalist recalls seven hour quest for perfect shot. How difficult it is, is it to take pictures of two ugly fat men with funny hairstyles? <laughs> Thank you for watching my show again. If you need to grow something, grow this orange cosmos because you can eat it.